Hi, I'm Carrie L, and I'm bringing homemade back to your house. This is my very first cooking show, and it started right here in my backyard and my kitchen, so I sure hope you enjoy it. Hi there, my name's Carrie L, and I am bringing homemade back with love. And where does homemade begin but in the garden? and that is homegrown. And this is my garden, which I love, uh, weeds and all. So I want to show you around just some of my favorite things. So let's go check out cucumbers. Come on over here. We have my cucumbers, or what I like to call them is my pickle plants. I always say to my husband, oh, we've got so many pickles coming up, forgetting that they are actually cucumbers. So let's have a look at the cute little pickles. Where do we have a pickle here? Oh, here we go. Look at these little guys. Every blossom on here is going to turn into cucumber. So these look like little baby dills. So these guys, once they start growing, they grow at lightning speed. Let me show you this other big, huge guy. He got a weekend of heat and sun, and this is what he turned into. So, check him out. He's huge. And at this point, he may not be so tasty. I'll try to figure out something to do with him because he is of value in my garden. So, um, but you definitely want to be on top of picking them. So, you know, if you're away for a weekend or something, get a neighbor to come in and enjoy your garden and just use that produce because, you know, spread the love. So those are my cucumbers. So let's go have a look at the beans. So. Here are my beans. This is my beautiful green arbor. What I love about all of the things in my garden is my kids can come out and they can pick it and enjoy it right off the vine. Now, let me pick a good one. Now some of these, when they get really big, they can, here's a big one. This one I would probably save for the seeds because it's so big it's gonna be kind of woody and not very good tasting. So for eating, I would probably pick this guy. And yeah, that's really good. So it's super sweet. Pick it off the vine, and it's real. It's live food. Like, this little bean is still pulsing with life. So you can only imagine the good stuff that's going in my body when I eat it. Even better when I know my kids are eating it. So this is their outdoor pantry. So let me show you my back garden and some of my other favorites. Hi there, this is Carrie O, bringing homemade back with love. And uh, to cue up my show, I've got a little music. Um, what's that called when you have your music for your show? The, uh, my jingle? I don't know. So anyways, I have a very special guest today, starting off my show with the jingle. Here he comes. Careful. <laughs> anyways. Um, that's one of the reasons that I do this, uh, realizing how important it is to bring homemade back into the home. So, this is my kitchen, in all its 35-year-old glory. My first idea was to go to a kitchen, borrow someone's kitchen to film the show, and I realized, you know what, this is real life. This is where I create, and what I want to share with you is how you can create right where you are, and it doesn't matter what your kitchen's like. It's just your desire to do it and uh, to choose to have fun with it. So, let's get cooking. Come on over. Alright, so here we are ready to go, creating some homemade love. And what I'm going to show you is, this was my last night's dinner. Last night I roasted a beautiful chicken, and what I did is I stripped all the meat off the chicken and put the onion and the garlic that I roasted with in this bowl, along with the leftover rice. So this leftovers from last night is going to be turned into an amazing soup. I love soup. So, what we're gonna do, and I'll just, just give you a little idea of what I did with the, um, with the chicken bones. I put, actually in this pot last night, I put all the chicken bones, covered them with a bit of water, and I boiled it for about um, just a little over an hour to create my stock. Strained out the bones, and here is my beautiful chicken stock. You can get that. See that? So, pretty simple, yet it's all homemade. 
and uh, I might add that my friends grew the chicken and I picked it up fresh yesterday so how amazing is that I love it I'm gonna set that over there so what I always start with when I make a soup is something to create the flavor base and what that is is garlic onions and I've got an assortment of white yellow and purple use whatever you like and celery so I'm just gonna chop up an onion here put that in there a little bit of garlic peel bam garlic goes in celery and now what I'm gonna do is I like to use butter when I'm cooking now it's optional you can use whatever you like yet what I do is I heat up my butter a little bit and then I'm gonna saute actually let's get it going here saute all these onions garlic and I use a garlic press because I like to just break open that clove and just it permeates the whole base of my soup so squish now if you could smell what I'm smelling like it's like you could just eat the scent it smells so good and then the celery I use a fairly rough chop and then I just toss that in so now we're going to stir it up and if you just want to come close just a nice little mixture there and uh, if you hear about the holy trinity of cooking down in the south theirs is onions garlic and peppers so this is like my own Cariel holy trinity and I'm sure it's been done before, but we'll just call it that. So I'm going to get it going. And you can see there, like, beautiful caramelization on the bottom. And all of that caramelization is going to create the base for this amazing soup. So it's probably been uh, about five minutes. It's all ready to go. Next thing we're going to do is chop up these carrots. And chop them up however you like. Sometimes I do them in little tiny pieces, sometimes in rounds. Depends how I feel and then just uh, pop them in there and then so we've got all that going and now we've got a nice brown bottom everything's caramelized the important ingredients are caramelized now I'm gonna add my soup stock so add the soup stock deglazes all that beautiful brown off the bottom and creates amazing flavor not too bad for my first cooking show even if it was pretend Next time, tune in when the cooking's real, and it's so good you can smell it right through the screen on Bringing Homemade Back. Have a good day.